Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, I'm the author of Toxic Electricity, and we're here to talk about a very interesting magical show that's taken place this weekend. And the magician, David Blaine, is doing a Tesla coil demonstration over this weekend. And he's in New York City, and he's surrounded by eight Tesla coils. And those Tesla coils are firing off sparks that are hitting him. And that's quite interesting. That's his head right there. And there's a Tesla coil over here, and you can see the spark shooting across to him. So he's actually doing a very, very interesting human health experiment. And he does appear to be aware that there's very severe human health risks from this experiment that he's doing. And most engineers, electrical engineers, I'm an electrical engineer, know that these Tesla coils can actually kill you. So there's no doubt that the experiment is very, very dangerous from the intensity of the sparks he's getting hit with. But there's another risk that hasn't really been spoken about, and that is radio wave sickness. Radio wave sickness is very well established today as a human illness. And another aspect of that illness is electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And radio wave sickness, if you have it for too long, can progress into electromagnetic hypersensitivity. So this is one of the big risks he's running. So while the spark may actually instantaneously kill him, the longer term risk of this experiment is radio wave sickness. And if we look at the experiment, what he's actually doing is he, he actually has eight of these Tesla coils. We show two here. And they shoot out sparks to the suit that he's wearing, which is grounded. And our current flow is from the Tesla coil through his body, down to the ground, and back out to the Tesla coil. So he has eight of these current flows taking place. And I've looked at his suit, and it doesn't seem to be sufficiently engineered for radio wave exposure. And when we're talking about radio wave exposure, we are also talking about microwave exposure, because that's what these sparks do. These sparks give out very, very wide-ranging electromagnetic fields, and they are what's known as broadband emissions that come out of them. And uh, if you don't have a continuous shield around the human body, then these frequencies of energy are just going to pass straight through to the body, and it will be like the suit's not there if the frequency is high enough. So um, he's very much at risk of developing radio wave sickness from this experiment over the three days that he's doing it. And he may well go on to develop electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And probably the most famous person in the world who developed radio wave sickness is Nikola Tesla. Most people don't actually realize that Nikola Tesla, for the first half of his life, he was no doubt a brilliant man, but for the second half of his life, he was regarded as being quite nutty. And it's kind of what radio wave sickness does to you. And uh, it really affects the human mind if you have too much exposure to it. And there's a lot of books that talk about this. And this one is one of the more famous ones, Light Radiation and You, by Dr. John Nash Art. There's also this one. It's called The Invisible Disease by Gunny Nordstrom. This one by Blake Levitt, called Electromagnetic Fields. We have Dirty Electricity by Samuel Milham. And we have Cross Currents by Dr. Robert Becker. So these books are classed as the leading books on the subject. And probably the newest book in the series is my book. And it actually tells you how to recover from these exposures because I actually had radio wave sickness. And I appear to have caught it in time that it didn't progress to electromagnetic hypersensitivity. And uh, if you want to know how to recover from it and restore your health back to full health, the answers are in here. So I hope that our magician, David Blaine, survives his experiment. And if he does have some lasting effects, 
how to recover from it is in this book. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.